Aviva Stadium, Wikipedia article audio. Me Engineers The Aviva Stadium is a sports stadium located in Dublin, Ireland, with a capacity for 51,700 spectators. It is built on the site of the former Lansdowne Road Stadium, which was demolished in 2007, and replacing it as home to its chief tenants, the Irish Rugby Union team and the Republic of Ireland football team. The decision to redevelop the stadium came after plans for both Stadium Ireland and Ircombe Park fell through. Aviva Group Ireland signed a 10-year deal for the naming rights in 2009. Facilities History The stadium, located adjacent to Lansdowne Road Railway Station, officially opened on May 14, 2010. The stadium is Ireland's first, and only, UEFA Elite Stadium and in 2011, it hosted the Europa League final. It also hosted the inaugural Nations Cup, as well as the regular home fixtures of the national rugby team, national football team and some home fixtures for Leinster rugby from August 2010 onwards. Unlike its predecessor, which was solely owned by the Irish Rugby Football Union, the current stadium is controlled by the IRFU and the Football Association of Ireland through a 50-50 joint venture known as the Lansdowne Road Stadium Development Company. The joint venture has a 60-year lease on the stadium. On expiry the stadium will return to the exclusive ownership of the IRFU. The stadium is a bowl shape with four tiers on three sides of the ground the lower and upper tiers being for general access, the second and third levels feed the second tier for premium tickets and the fourth tier for corporate boxes. The northern end of the stadium, due to its proximity to local housing, incorporates only the lower tier of the bowl. The north stand is to be the away stand for football internationals. There is one basement level and seven stories of floors including ground level. The premium level holds 10,000 spectators, while the box level holds 1,300. The remaining 38,700 seats are shared between the top and bottom tiers. The capacity of the stadium was criticized even before its opening for being too small particularly in light of the large supporter attendance figures for Irish rugby internationals and soccer internationals at Croke Park since 2007. The stadium's roof is designed to undulate in a wave-like manner so as to avoid blocking light to local residences. The stadium was officially opened on May 14, 2010 by then Dowsiak Brian Cowan. In 2011, the stadium won a British Construction Industry Award. Events The Ireland National Rugby Union team plays its home games at the stadium, as it did previously at Lansdowne Road, taking over from their temporary home, Croke Park, where games were played during Aviva's construction. Ireland's first international game was on November 6, 2010 against South Africa, with the Springboks winning 23-21. The game drew a crowd of 35,515, mainly due to a backlash by Ireland supporters over the IRFU's controversial ticketing strategy for the November Test Series. Initially, the IRFU announced that tickets to the November tests would only be sold as packages for all four matches. Later, it announced that the tickets would instead be split into two packages, with the South Africa test bundled with the following week's match with Samoa for a minimum of €150, Euros, and the New Zealand and Argentina tests bundled for a minimum of €190. Euros. Single-game tickets were to be available only for the Samoa and Argentina tests. On November 1, 
the IRFU backed away from this plan amid heavy criticism from member clubs that had problems selling the packages in a difficult economy. The first rugby union game at the Aviva was an exhibition game on July 31, 2010, billed as the O2 Challenge involving under-18 and under-20 players from all four of Ireland's provincial sides, with the Leinster-Ulster side defeating a munster connaught combination 68-0. As part of the run-up to the event, O2 ran a promotion which gave the winner the opportunity to attempt to score the ceremonial first points at the Aviva via a simulated conversion kick on the day before the match. The winner of the promotion, John Baker of Ennis, was successful. The first official points at the Aviva were scored by Ulster's Craig Gilroy with a try in the O2 Challenge. Rugby Union The stadium also hosts some home games for Leinster when the RDS Arena's smaller capacity doesn't satisfy demand. Leinster won their opening home game in the Aviva against Munster 13-9, in the Magners League season, in front of a then-record PR012 attendance of 50,645. This league record was exceeded on March 29, 2014 when Leinster again beat Munster, 22-18 in front of 51,700 people. Leinster won their first Heineken Cup game in the Aviva 24-8, against Clermont Auvergne in a pool game during the 2010-11 season. During Leinster's successful run to the Heineken Cup title that season, they took their quarter-final and semi-final matches to the Aviva, defeating Leicester Tigers and Toulouse respectively. Ulster took their 2012 Heineken Cup semi-final to the Aviva as well, defeating Edinburgh. Leinster records against PRO 1-2 and European Cup opponents in the Aviva Stadium. The 2013 Heineken Cup final took place in the Aviva Stadium on May 18, 2013 where Toulon beat Clermont Auvergne 16-15. The Heineken Cup final was last held in Dublin in 2003 when Toulouse beat Perpignan 22-17 at Lansdowne Road. Ireland Records in the Aviva Stadium The stadium also hosts the home games of the Republic of Ireland national football team, as did Lansdowne Road. The team had played most home games at Croke Park during the construction of the Aviva Stadium. The first soccer match in the Aviva Stadium was Manchester United against a League of Ireland 11 side, managed by Damien Richardson, on August 4, 2010. Manchester United won the game 7-1, with Park Ji Sung scoring the first ever goal in the Aviva Stadium. The first international game for Ireland in the Aviva Stadium was a 1-0 friendly loss against Argentina on August 11, 2010. The first competitive goal was scored by Kevin Kilburn in a Euro 2012 qualifying game on September 7, 2010 against Andorra. Heineken Cup The Aviva annually hosts the FAI Cup Final which was shared between the RDS Arena and the Tallock Stadium while the Aviva Stadium was being built. The first cup final at the new stadium was the 2010 FAI Cup Final, held on Sunday, November 14, 2010. Sligo Rovers beat Shamrock Rovers 2-0 on penalties after the game finished 0-0 after extra time. A total of 36,101 attended the game making it the biggest attendance at an FAI Cup final since 1968. The 2011 Nations Cup took place in the Aviva Stadium. The tournament featured national football teams from Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. 
In the opening round of fixtures the Republic of Ireland beat Wales 3-0 while Scotland beat Northern Ireland 3-0. The remaining four fixtures took place in May, with the Republic of Ireland winning the tournament after beating Scotland 1-0 on May 29, with Keane scoring the only goal. Association Football the 2011 UEFA Europa League final between Portuguese sides Porto and Braga took place in the Aviva Stadium. Due to UEFA rules against corporate sponsorship outside the Federation, the stadium was referred to as the Dublin Arena for this final, that ended with a 1-0 victory for Porto. The Dublin Super Cup was a pre-season football tournament which was held at the Aviva. Celtic, Manchester City, Inter Milan and a League of Ireland 11 competed in the 2011 edition, with Manchester City winning the tournament. The Dublin Decider was a game which took place on August 10, 2013. The match was played between Celtic and Liverpool, with both teams having large support in Ireland. Celtic won the match 1-0 thanks to a goal from Amido Bald. There were talks ongoing about a return of the Dublin decider in the summer of 2014 with clubs such as Barcelona, Manchester United and Celtic being mentioned as potential visitors to the Aviva Stadium. It was confirmed in March 2016 that Celtic will face Barcelona in the stadium on July 30, 2016, however this is as part of the annual International Champions Cup pre-season tournament, and not any sort of independent Dublin decider fixture. Barcelona won the game 3-1. On September 19, 2014, it was announced by UEFA that the stadium will host four Euro 2020 finals fixtures, three group games and a round of 16 match. Should Ireland qualify they will be guaranteed two home group games. On September 1, 2012, the stadium hosted an American college football game billed as the Emerald Isle Classic between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the Navy Midshipmen. Notre Dame won 50-10. FAI Cup Final The 2016 Aer Lingus College Football Classic was announced as a matchup between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Boston College Eagles to be played on September 3, 2016. This game marked Georgia Tech Nation's first game played overseas. Georgia Tech finished the 2014 football season with an 11-3 record and ranked in the top 10, but finished the 2015 season with a 3-9 record and ranked last in their division. In 2016, they ended their season 9-4 starting with a win against Boston College in Aviva Stadium. The result was a 17-14 win by the Yellow Jackets. 2011 Nations Cup The children's writer Gerard Siggins has based much of his Rugby Spirit series in Aviva Stadium. His hero, Owen Madden, is on a school tour to the ground when he meets Brian Hanrahan, a true-life figure who was the only man ever to die playing sport in Lansdowne Road. Hanrahan, a Lansdowne FC rugby player, died when a scrum collapsed during a Leinster Senior Cup game against Trinity in 1928. The five books so far published in the series feature frequent visits to Aviva Stadium for matches. Siggins also co-authored the history of the previous stadium on the site, Lansdowne Road, the stadium, the matches, the greatest days. The stadium is served by public transport with bus and dart. More remotely, it may also be reached, following a journey on foot by the Luas and Busaras. The stadium is inaccessible by car on match days due to a 1 km car-free exclusion zone in operation.
2011 Europa League Final Dublin Super Cup The Dublin Decider UEFA Euro 2020 American Football Aviva Stadium in Fiction Concerts Transport Connections